Okay, these are your week 15. I'm counting Thanksgiving week as a week. Um, instructions. And uh, since we're nearly done with the semester down now, I'm going to basically tell you what's going to happen here on out. You only have three grades left. The chapter 31 quiz in uh, the week of Monday, November 30th. The chapter 32 quiz in the week of uh, Monday, December 7th. And uh, the final exam now. It'll be normal through this week, however, uh, next week, the week of Monday, December 7th, um, finals begin on a Thursday. Final exam opens on Thursday and runs through the following Wednesday. My preference is always a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday finals week, but it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday finals week, so the final will be open for you to take for seven days instead of four. That, that's fine. I won't have a whole lot to do during that time, and I welcome that. All my heavy lifting grading is done except for the bonus worksheets, and now I think the way is clear for me to work on those. But back to what I was going to say, the last chapter quiz, the chapter 32 quiz, so that you can have your normal accustomed um, four days, I'm going to open that on Sunday the 6th, rather than on Monday the 7th. So you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, hard day my takes it the first day anyway, but that's how we're going to do it. Okay. The final exam, it's not too soon to tell you about this. The final exam is comprehensive. That means it's over the entire course, and uh, it consists of 100 four-option multiple-choice questions that are uh, divided up among the units fairly equally, and... Um, may or may not, depending on how I set it up, appear in approximate chronological order, probably chronological order this time. Now, I've not shown you any multiple choice questions up till now that um, were uh, more than three option multiple choice. That gives you one third of a third, third chance of just guessing right, even if you don't know anything about it. Final exam is one in four, okay? Now, uh, I routinely apply a formula to your raw score on the final to get your, you know, your exam grade. Um, you'll need, as I say, review the entire course. Uh, it's not too soon now to read the supplements or reread the supplements, and I've prepared you a large number <coughs> of lecture videos, and you should not consider yourself prepared for, for uh, any exam, including the final unless you've watched carefully the lecture videos. Now, I don't have any of the ones for the, the last unit ready, and I'll be making those up as I can as the week goes by. Check frequently. Okay, try to get that done this week. Okay, more about the final. Um, you, will need the, you will need a webcam for that. I routinely apply a formula to get your, your, your final exam grade. And um, I'm going to post a thing where you can calculate what you what grade you would need to make on the final to a attain a given selected uh, letter grade. That's a pretty wide window there because uh, um, you know anything 90 or above. And when I'm when I'm assigning letter grades, I can't look at you and tell you for sure that I get to assign letter grades this time. The machine may have taken that over. So any jiggling that I do with it will have to be done ahead of that. But my practice is to round to the nearest whole number. So we'll just let that go, and I'll help you out if I can. Okay, nobody's ever complained about that. Let me see. Final exam, final exam. Then it will be over, and uh, grades will be posted on Canvas. The, the numerical grades... And I don't know. They still have Campus Connect, whatever that is. That's where the letter grade will be. Okay. Um, something else I was going to tell you. If I could just remember what I got. Why don't I just make some notes? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. You didn't gain too much weight or anything like that. But the end is in view. <laughs> don't ask Dean Indy about that. Actually, he's vice president now. So I'll, I'll uh, oh yeah, 
That's that's what it was. A number of people have requested and received uh, extended deadlines on assignments. Um, I'm generous with those. Uh, and uh, those are all going to expire before finals begin. All of that that you're going to complete will have been completed or not by Wednesday, uh, December 9th. That's a little over a week from now. Wednesday, December 9th. All uh, late assignments or anything like that. I don't technically have makeups anymore, but uh, if you want to, you know, another shot at taking some chapter quiz you missed or something like that. How do you know what your average is? I'm going to hear in a few minutes, look again at student view. Like, I'll look at the screen. I'll see what a student will be looking at. There should be uh, on there somewhere a number designated total. I think that's right. That's your average. I think it's out to a decimal place. So that's the number you would need in the formula that I would give you to calculate what grade you would need on the final to uh, achieve a uh, target letter grade. Okay, so uh, there you have it. There is one, one more thing. There, the, one of the most important documents under study materials or exam study materials is the final exam review topics list. Okay. My advice at the very beginning was to run a copy of that and keep an eye on that day by day and fill, fill in the blanks as we go along and learn it as we go. So this is not really meant for you to prosper on trying to learn it all at the end because that's why the semester lasts nearly four months. It doesn't last three days. So uh, get hold of that. And there is a very, very high correlation between the topics on the topics list and the substance of the questions that you will encounter on the final exam. So it is what it is. You got the time you got left. Make good use of it.